So the third one is always interesting to explain uh, because it's called a bond election, but it is really a refunding opportunity. Uh, I came here in 2007 and I bought a house and interest rates in 2007 were high. I don't remember exactly what my interest rate is, but it was, but it seems like it was 7%. When interest rates fell, I refinanced my house and got a much lower interest rate. And I'll bet some of you did the same thing. Lowered your payment or lowered your debt or, or both. That's what this third election does for the school district. The $65 million bond that's on this referendum was passed and sold years ago and already built buildings such as this one. But it was sold at a time when interest rates were high. And, um, or, or at least it was sold at a time when, when there was a, a, a variable with the interest rates. Um, so they were sold as caps, and that means that they were sold where all the interest was paid up front, big interest payments up front, and a little bit of principal. And then as you got to the bottom, the principal got big, like a big balloon payment. So with the way the economy is now, uh, a vote to approve this proposition will let the district pay off those high interest rate bonds, refinance them at current interest rate, they're called SIBs, current interest bonds, uh, and lower our debt and save $100 million over the life of the bonds, which is 30 years.